And Harvey Unga back in Studio B. Harvey, good to have you back, man. Great to be back, man. I appreciate it. Well, and even an ovation from Brian Logan. See, what happens when you have a true, Thank, when you, when you true, you. When you true <laughs> Bobs, man, when you true Band of Brothers, that's what happens. I appreciate it. Let me that, clarify bro. something. When mm-hmm. I said you need an extra large, stay loyal to the Royal Hoodie, that had nothing to do with the fact <coughs> that you're overweight at all. It, it was Thank, just okay. your muscles, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate because <laughs> that's a sensitive subject. <laughs> It is, man. Especially in the winter time, we that's a sensitive subject. A insecure so right now. I, you know, I'm working on it. It's under yeah. construction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I get it, I get yeah. it too. Yeah. It's post football props. <laughs> right. <laughs> Harvey, what was your first reaction when you heard the news that Kalani Satake would take over the head coaching responsibilities at BYU? Man, that was uh, one of the uh, most exciting things I'd heard in a while. Uh, you know, from from BYU football, it. Uh, Obviously, you know, watching the bowl game and everything was was a little flustering. But then to come back home and, and hear that kind of news and, and have that kind of news, um, and, and know that you know he's going to be in there, he's going to be working and, and uh, you know taking over the reins. It's uh, it was it was an exciting thought and, and a happy thought. You know, um, I grew up with Kalani and, and uh, from from a young age, and, and so knowing him throughout the years, it's uh, it, it's amazing to see you know what he's accomplished and and you know what he still is accomplishing. Um, so to, to have him come back, it was one of the coolest things to see. Harvey, what are you hearing um, just from the, the former Band of Brothers and just the community uh, of the former players about this hire and how excited they are? Man, it, it was uh, it was really, really interesting to see. So yesterday we went to the um, little luncheon mm-hmm. at, the, at the football office, and I had seen former players that I remember watching when I was growing up and but had never seen them at BYU ever mm. until yesterday really mm. until yesterday and and one of the guys i hadn't seen for a while um come back was actually luke staley and, and luke's Whoa. a good friend of mine so to see him come back you know to me it, it spoke a lot of kalani and who he is and and to have the players all come back it was man there was such a different vibe inside that football office um i, I don't well be he's never had these issues with Coach Mendenhall or anything like that. Yeah, go ahead and say it, man. Just say it. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. so, I mean, I don't know if it was this, like, this way for you, but when, when I was there, the second floor was like a ghost town. Yeah. It was, it no, was yeah. scary. Like, yeah. the only reason why you're on the second floor is because you're either in trouble or you're going to get some sort of lecture or something like that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it, was, it was hard, like, you know, to be on the second floor when, when we were players, when we were there. But being there yesterday – already like just the the whole vibe and the aura that we had in there was you know everybody was so relaxed and everybody was so happy and and even the former players talking to a lot of these guys um they they were saying this to me too they were like Harv this is the first time I've been back to BYU without having the feeling that I wasn't you know walking on eggshells yeah they're like every time I had came back here to you know just to see how the how my alma mater was doing how the program was doing I felt like I was walking on eggshells when I'd come to the second floor. Yeah. But these guys came back, you know, yesterday and and, um, the the feeling, the camaraderie and and to see, you know, all those uh, all those guys, the former players and legends come back. It it was uh, it was way cool. And, you know, something something really nice to to know that, you know, a lot of these guys have Kalani's back. See, It's it's interesting because I felt that way. And I and I talked to Coach Mendenhall about it and I said, hey, man, it's not it's it's not cool when I get kicked out of practice and it's not cool how. I feel like I, I'm do- ducking and dodging the security guard. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not cool. And and he, his face dropped, and he said, "Hey, you are you're a player first, man. You're not you're not media. Um, you're always welcome. If there's any issues, you know, come find me." And I'm like, "Well, one, first of all, coach, you are on the field practicing. <laughs> right. I can't I can't I can't even get on the field. First right. of all, uh, second of all, you know, you got to get you got to make this known. And I think that's the difference with 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 Coach Kalani is." Is that that even though both of them want former players to come back and and they have no problem with it, I, I think just that vibe and that aura that Kalani brings is is it's open arms, you know, compared yeah, to Bronco, yeah. maybe kind of not being that so much like Kalani. No, I, I totally agree. And and Kalani, he um, you can tell from even his press conference that he's he's the type of guy that is very he's very humbled and very welcoming and um, you know, just just the way he uh, carries himself. It's a way that you can actually go up to him and have a conversation without him trying to like look into your soul and dive into <laughs> you. 
<laughs> for, you know, I'm like you know, you know that stare. <laughs> you know that exactly stare. what I'm talking about. That stare, man. Like yeah, and it's the like, most did, awkward did stare you, in the world. Did he read his scriptures? Did, yeah, did he exactly. go to, I'm like, oh it was shoot! Hard. He, I didn't go to church on Sunday. He knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! It was the hardest thing. That, I'm telling you, Spence, you laugh, but he, like, yeah, he serious, you ask any of the former players, they know what stare I'm talking about. <laughs> so and and that was you know it's it's hard and and I don't even know. I mean, I can't imagine as a fan if you were to come up to him and like. Say something. I don't know. I don't, I've never seen him interact with a fan, so I don't know if he like yeah. looks into their soul too. And like, <laughs> are you fully invested? Are you, are you really on? Or, you know what I mean? And I love. I love Coach Manhall to death, but I. It was just. It was hard to kind of break down those walls of communication uh, with him. And different approaches, different yeah, styles, different, completely yeah, different, different styles. styles. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Harvey Definitely. Unga with us in Studio B on BYU Sports Nation talking about the hire of Kalani Satake, a guy he knows very well, spent a lot of time with as he was growing up. Where do you think this new staff will have the biggest impact on BYU football in year number one? Man. I, I, I don't, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I, I think with, with Kalani and his approach to things um, – he he's he's definitely focused on recruiting right now, um, so I think in his first year he he's definitely gonna look um, right now to the recruits that he he's spoken to at Utah as well as Oregon State, but then also hold tight to the ones that you know we have here at BYU that we've already um, you know given scholarships to and whatnot. But um, I think o- overall it it's. Um, it's hard to say just because you don't have a coaching staff right now. Um, you don't know exactly. Uh, obviously, you don't know who he's going to hire and, and what kind of mentality, you know, his his OC may have or, you know, what they're looking for. So um, it, right now I can see, you know, the defense um, being definitely the, the strong point right now just because they kind of have a base to work off of. Mm-hmm. Um, but – you know, it, it's hard to say right now just because there's there's really no coaching staff to, to kind of work things out and, and see where we lie. One day at a time. <laughs> exactly. Harvey, yeah. it's been great to have you back in Studio B. We need to do this more often, okay? Let yeah. me know. I love yeah. I'd love to join you guys. I appreciate you. Guys. I heard from a little birdie you're going to be the running back. Coach. <laughs> oh my! God. Just heard that. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well. Well, I I uh, I'd love to be the emotional support coach and, <laughs> and, and cheerlead on the side and whatnot. But yeah, who knows? You know, Kalani's got a lot on his hands, and hey, you know, whatever he decides. You're our great. emotional support, and we appreciate that. That's right. Harvey Unga, 